going on everybody? The Major League Baseball season is heating up and today we want to talk some World Series odds. Okay, the Dodgers are the favorites at plus 325. They'll be the favorites probably until the beginning of the playoffs, okay? Followed by the Padres who are plus 675 and then the White Sox and the Yankees stand at plus 850 and the New York Metropolitans with their amazing pitching staff are at plus 900. I want to talk about the Padres first here, okay? The Padres, man, had a really nice month of May, had a nine-game winning streak during the month. They do everything well. They play great defense they steal bases lead the league in era their bullpen is absolutely fantastic but they can get better okay fernando tatis he's been phenomenal right i mean he's basically the face of baseball right now fernando tatis he's just exciting 16 out of the first 59 padres home runs on the year were hit by fernando tatis when you look at manny machado and manny machado has six home runs on the year 239 average he can be a lot better Will Myers hit 15 home runs in the short season last year, only 60 game season, okay? First two months of the season this year, six home runs. They can get better on offense. And if you look on the, on the mound, Musgrove and Yu Darvish have been phenomenal. But Blake Snell has not. Chris Paddock can be better also. So I really like the Padres here at plus 675. They were at plus 850 to start the season. Let's keep an eye on them, obviously. Okay. How about them Rays, right? Last time we talked, the Rays were at plus 2,800 a few weeks ago. They are now at plus 1,400. Why? Because they're so well-managed. Oh, they're so well-managed. Their month of May was just absolutely surreal. 22 and 6 in May, their best month ever. How is that? That is absolutely amazing. And you look at their GM also, man. You got to credit their GM here, Eric Neander. Rich Hill, I mean, we thought he was over the hill. Well, Rich Hill in May, in six starts, gave up three earned runs. They just know how to mix and match their people. They know how to get the best out of their players. It's just absolutely fantastic job, okay? Now, they strike out a ton. They lead Major League Baseball in strikeouts, but they hit home runs. They walk. Austin Meadows had eight home runs, 28 driven in in May. Mike Zanino had seven home runs. A Rosarena has not started hitting yet, okay? Brandon Lowe is hitting below 200. I think he'll get going. Recently, they had a series against the New York Mets, and the Mets, man, they've been pitching like They're absolutely fantastic pitching staff. The Rays went out there and scored 22 runs in three ball games and swept New York, right? After a recent win against the Yankees, it was their 16th win in 17 games. They've been absolutely phenomenal. So the Rays, it's, it's, it's amazing, right? Kevin Kiermaier no, is their best player is their most paid player, right? Six and a half million dollars a year, and they're winning, right? They went to the World Series last year, and you look at the division, the Rays dominate New York, right? They got New York's number, man. And then Boston, a nice team, but are they really better, more talented than the Rays? I really don't see it. So at plus 1,400, I think the Rays are up and coming. Let's keep an eye on them. How about Houston at plus 1,600? Seventh best odds in the league. I really love Houston because they can hit they can hit, and their starting rotation is phenomenal and getting healthy. Okay, so Framber Valdez is coming back. Jaco DeRitzi, Jose Urquidy. Okay, so they got a lot of people in that rotation. They're getting healthy at the right time. And you look at their offense, man. They got four guys above uh, 300, right? Well, you look at Bregman and Guriel and Altuve and Correa, and you got Tucker leading the team with 11 home runs. They're still going to hit more home runs. I think it can get even better offensively, right? And they somehow bridge the gap from the starting rotation to their closer, Presley, because their bullpen is not good, then I think Houston can be extremely dangerous. A guy that could help with that is Luis Garcia, kind of a spot starter, but also kind of a long man there. Houston, man, is a team that I think could just, you know, uh, get a lot better here. You know, they're, they're already good. I think they can get better. They're at plus 1,600. Keep an eye on them. And finally, I got a long shot for you. How about them Giants? Are you serious? The Giants are at plus 4,000. They got one of the best ERAs in, in Major League Baseball, leading the league in saves, right? Number four in quality starts. I mean, you look at their trio there in that, in that starting rotation. Johnny Quito, Kevin Gosman, Anthony Disclafani. It's a pretty interesting trio. Like Disclafani, who is that guy? Well... He's had basically one bad game this year. Right? He gave up 10 runs in two and two-thirds against the Dodgers uh, a couple starts ago. But other than that, he was very consistent, right? And we know how good Johnny Cueto is. Needs to stay healthy. And Kevin Gosman is pitching like an MVP, can, uh, like a Cy Young Award 
uh, candidate here. So their bullpen is good enough. And offensively, they hit a ton of home runs. I mean, really, everybody hits home runs for, for the Jets. You know, they don't have like a big time slugger, right? I mean, Evan Longoria is a nice player. Buster Posey or Brandon Crawford uh, is, is good, right? Uh, Brandon Belt has eight home runs on the year. It's, it seems like they can finish the year with like seven guys with at least 17, 18 home runs. I'm not even exaggerating. So the Giants have been so consistent, and they finished the month of May in first place in the, in, in the NL West, ahead of the Dodgers, ahead of the Padres. So let's give them a little bit of respect here, right? They are at plus 4,000. Won three out of four in Los Angeles, three straight wins out there. You got to respect them, man. Had a series win against San Diego this month, this past month. Yeah, and they've battled injuries, too. They've overcome some injuries. So there's been a little bit of adversity this year for the Giants, and they still have a really nice record. So plus 4,000, I'm interested to see what they do. And right now, it offers good value, man. We'll see what happens. Okay, for everything regarding the world of betting, you can go to Oddshark.